Afternoon everybody. Today we're going to be discussing events that took place in the what's called the Shenandoah Valley region of Virginia. This was the spring of 1862. Now what had been happening at this point was General McClellan had been getting ready to move his entire army of the Potomac down around using boats getting them around the James River to go attack Richmond from the east from the coastline. And but there were also large Union armies coming up from the western side through the Shenandoah Valley. Jackson was given the uh, order of finding a way to slow these armies down. And being outgunned, outmanned, and outsupplied, Jackson would go on to gain great notoriety in the Valley Campaign for his ability to completely bog down three full Union armies during that spring. I mean, his our troops moved so fast, they got the name of Jackson's Foot Cavalry. Now, in the beginning of that campaign, in March of 1862, they were just out the town, outside the town of Winchester in Kernstown. There were reports that there was a Union garrison there of about 3,000 men. Jackson decided to hit the town with 3,800 men. So he sent the, his own Stonewall Brigade at, with uh, General Richard Brooke Garnet at the helm to attack this troop position and to destroy it. Problem is, when they got there, they found out they had bad information. There weren't 3,000 Union troops. There were 8,500 Union troops. And so Garnet attacked as ordered, but at the same time he was losing horribly. He was outgunned, and what happened was the Union troops were eventually surrounding him on three different sides. And it got so bad to where when they were suffering horrible losses, and they were almost out of ammunition, Garnet decided to make the call to order the retreat. And by doing so, it was believed by everybody that he had effectively saved the Stonewall Brigade that day. But there was a little snag. Stonewall Jackson was very particular about soldiers following the chain of command. You don't do that kind of stuff without permission. He moved the Stonewall Brigade without permission. He did not ask. He did not request permission. So he was accused of cowardice by Stonewall Jackson. Now what this meant was, imagine you're in a place where honor is everything. And you have the most respected soldier in the entire army. Now, mind you, Robert E. Lee was not actually a part of the army yet at this point. He was still sitting at a desk in Richmond. So, Stonewall Jackson's the most respected man in the army of Northern Virginia. And <clears throat> he accused you of cowardice. So he does that. He removes him from command. And he arrests him and he puts, gets him ready to court-martial him. Needless to say, Garnet's career was pretty much over. And so... When Lee took command in the, early in the summer, you know, to make a long story short, Lee talked Jackson into dropping the court martial charges. But at the same time, the damage was done. Garnet was called a coward by Stonewall Jackson. There's nothing you could do about that. It destroyed his name. And so General Lee decided to take, in the realigning of the army, take a restored uh, Garnet to command under the division of George Edward Pickett. And those of you who know the name Pickett, you know his name will become synonymous with the name I'm wearing on my hoodie right now in Gettysburg. We'll be going to that in much greater detail when we get to that point. More on it to come.